this is another photo walk today I'm uh, filming and taking pictures at a uh, Point Pelee National Park uh, it's Canada Ontario near the town called uh, Leamington which is uh, also has a name of uh, tomato capital of Canada lots of hot hot houses here and it's like the most southern point in Canada and they give me the map here um, in 2017 access to the park is free so this is what it looks like it's like a peak semi you know like um, almost like an island trails are these red ones over here so I'm right here sanctuary lookout I just started I entered and I said I never been here what do I do and she says uh, the lady at the at the gate says well you can drive seven kilometers or like four and a half miles to the visitor center and start from there but then I thought you know like this all these places here there's a marsh boardwalk over here so all these red lines those are trails so I thought I was prepared and I completely forgot that I just upgraded my uh, smartphone LG uh, G4 died so I, I now they have G6 so I got this G6 and I forgot that you have to pair them with my GoPro right because I always before I start filming I always want to delete all the files through the uh, capture app just to make sure because once I deleted that on my computer and then I had trouble you know there were some files left so always a good idea to uh, format and delete all files from your GoPro before you start filming just and inside the camera basically right through the app and because it's a new phone it was not paired I had to find that password and oh Jesus so and I'm sitting here and it's pretty warm outside but again like the, the the park booklets they told me they say it's uh, you know there's lots of mosquitoes here right and uh, and that's another thing I forgot speaking about mosquitoes the bug repellent I left it in my truck in my Mac um, anyway let's go check out the sanctuary lookout and then basically I'll keep driving and when I see something because there's parking all over it doesn't seem like there's too many people over here and then we'll just keep walking right wow look at this people just stopped there's a couple of cars behind me, they just stopped and uh, took some pictures and went. Okay, see we have the same, my favorite bird, great blue heron. Wow. Well, I saw some heron, it was a very, not like that, not gray, it was all dark, but it was very far away. It was uh, flying very slowly and I see something it's I cannot believe how far my camera can see it's like I don't know 300 meters there's a couple of uh, white birds or maybe it's a heron I don't know but it's so far I cannot see So this is the boardwalk. So you can rent a canoe in here. Shall we go climb this thing? See what see what's at the top there. This is a really 
very cool. So I got a telescope in here. And that's the walk. I'm gonna go around there. See if I can find some birds. See, it goes like this. What is that thing? Huh. It's a very interesting bird. Fly flies almost vertically. And but all I see are like some kind of like swallows here. Those are too difficult to photograph. All right, let's go for a walk. See if I can find some uh, craters over there. And of course, this is already too late for photography. <laughs> I hope you guys know this. When the sun is this high, um, just the light is very harsh. And yeah, this is no good. Like, what can you photograph when you walk inside, like between the, you know, these things? Unless I see a duck somewhere, but the sun is this way, so I decided to go this way. But for me to shoot something and to make it look good, it should be on my left. And of course, my field of view is blocked by these reeds. <laughs> the blackbird was trying to catch uh, some bugs. So here's a nice uh, observation platform. And this would be good. The sun is behind me, shooting this way. Now finally, I see some uh, open area. Yeah, those are cute birds. I don't know what they are. This one flying over there. You see how they position? They keep the sun behind them. Getting it now? Did you get it down? No, 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 it. no. She was struggling. Oh, down, down, down. We're down here? What do you call these? What do you call these birds? What do you call them? Black terns. Black terns. girls just trying to take a picture <laughs> of these uh, two flowers what the camera showed at one eight thousand of a second Are you crazy all right let's try um yeah, 5.6. Let's do matrix metering at uh, 4. Or, see, matrix metering was better. 
spot metering was uh, just thrown off by um, the yeah, matrix. I even didn't do any, yeah, no compensation. So matrix is, of course, is better. So it should at 1600th of a second f8. Yeah. Nice sharp flowers. This is going into my uh, photography store for sure. catch that uh, bird like it's flying like a helicopter all right let's see what else we can find yeah I'm gonna take I'm gonna leave my monopod I don't want to drag it yeah so I did that video Shaky. All right, so we're done here with the marsh boardwalk. So now I can uh, yeah, see canoe rental. So now we're gonna drive here. There's a trail here, but I really like when it's open. Now the sun is, uh, and it's called blue heron. There's no herons in there. And then the idea is to go all the way down over here. That's the visitor center. And this is the, they say dangerous area. Lots of people died here trying to, even they say uh, dangerous current. Uh, so even wading, wading in the water has led to many drownings. For your safety, do not enter the water past the tip exhibit area. Uh, so funny. You know, even waiting, like basically you go like, I don't know, knee deep into the water and the current is so bad. <laughs> All right. And some fly already, already beat me. I've, I've felt, uh, something on my uh, arm and I turned to look and it was like a big fly sitting there just sucking my blood and that's why I didn't want to I don't want even though it's hot I don't recommend you guys wear you know shorts even though I see everybody here wear shorts but I don't think that's a good idea I love this camera Saved my ass quite a few times when backing. Alright, it came like this. There's a beach. inside the car or inside a truck like I do this in my uh, uh, tracking videos on my heavy hold TV my other channel I always activate spot metering because when you're inside a dark area like you know this otherwise the camera will uh, measure exposure the GoPro from this and everything over there will be uh, too light ask me how I know ruined quite a few videos in that way and so yeah so yeah you gotta have spot metering but if you have spot metering 
which is good for when you're inside a car then you go outside and our spot metering is bad <laughs> because we're in the same light pretty much okay my next stop is a Delorier homestead and trail and so we moved over here kind of like almost in the middle so parking parking there's some pioneer on the other side but I, I prefer to go on the trail it's like a big circle um, let's go check it out here we are here barn check okay so the trail goes past the barn oh look out oh it's something to do with the history as well so you learn about the people who lived here in the late 19th and early 20th century the Delorier family shows this location for their home as the land was dry and close to both the marsh and lake it's a loop, okay. Let's go check it out. It's a cool looking ancient home. All right, I found the trail. Just don't want to get lost in here. See, okay, now we on a loop walking straight into the sun perfect well, finally the trail is turning so the sun is behind my back I see lots of small birds but Blackbirds, swallows. Oh, this is nice. Could be some be some tur turtles in here. But so far, now we are not. Boardwalk. You can tell that these birds are very happy because there's lots of bugs in here. That's their food, right? Look at that. Let's see if we can catch that plane. <laughs> cool. We got some big ass plane. following me. Let's see what we 
we can see. What? You want me to take a picture? If you're asking, politely I can do it. <laughs> Alright, nice white, one thousandth of a second, 5.6 ISO 500. Send you a picture by email. What's your email address? All right. Back in the woods. See those are ones? Those ones are bad. Um, anyway, let's see what else we can. Yeah, I don't something like this. Okay, so I just did this one. Deloria Homestead and Trail. Uh, okay, which one you see this hiking trails over here? Let's see which one does not have, does not have trees. So I check marsh boardwalk check one kilometer loop Deloria homestead and trail check uh, Chinqua Pin Oak Trail uh, view mixed dry forest forget this no dry forest the serenity of the East Barrier Beach will leave you feeling refreshed. Keep in mind there are no visitor amenities uh, Tilden Woods. Uh, or view mature swamp forest and savanna boardwalks keep your feet dry in spring as you enjoy wild flowers wild flowers but again it's all between inside of it, like the the trees woodland nature trail stroll through the oldest forest habitat in the park self-guided booklet is available okay and uh, tip trail walk to the most southern point of mainland Canada See? Tip trail. But yeah, very interesting, you know, lots of uh, trails in here. Very nice park. Let's go to the visitor center. See what they have in there. Visitor center. Yeah, I crank up my uh, AC. By the way, uh, I uh, upgraded my uh, internet uh, since I've, I'm uploading lots of videos for my tracking channel. Uh, I started getting huge bills from my provider Rogers because I was using my phone as a hotspot. Because until now that was my best deal. Uh, there's no free stuff, you know. Even when they tell you it's free, like unlimited, they still start throttle down to uh, throttle down the data like Verizon. Verizon says, yeah, unlimited data, okay, and then you start looking at the fine print and it says um, 
if you if you use more than 20 gigabytes uh, from your phone they will start putting you behind they may prioritize other users over you uh, and when you use your phone what what is this a funeral and when you use uh, your phone as a as a hotspot um, they will start doing that after 10 gigabytes so it's not no good for me right so uh, so I found the cheapest way to do it is to use that old-fashioned style like uh, nobody use it anymore but you can buy like a dedicated modem and it's just a Wi-Fi you don't even have to connect it unless you want to and I tried that one because that one is much cheaper the data you can get as high as 100 gigabytes a month you know uh, and so I got that one from Rogers like it looks like a little pack of cigarettes you know like very thin and it was awful like the connection was so slow it was actually much worse than my phone so that video the previous video um, the mill uh, Hespler uh, walk the previous photography video I did I uploaded with this one and because it was 1080p now we're shooting 720 forget it too much data so that one was in 1080p and I um, the file after all you know processing and I try to make it smaller with the handbrake the program handbrake I'm using the file still was 1.5 gigabytes so with that stupid modem it took uh, 90 minutes to upload and first I, I lost half an hour it stopped I restarted again so anyway so why I'm saying this is that it's very important when you're trying to do something like this uh, you know video photography uh, you gotta have good internet right because all this stuff it's very data intensive all right I think we're somewhere here what is this uh, youth camp um, West Beach West Beach that guy does not know where he's going either <laughs> and they tell you in the booklet they say uh, do not stop Come on, come on. You can see it's very narrow. It's very narrow. You're not supposed to stop here. Yeah, so the booklet says uh, no parking, no stopping on the road. And so what I did find is that uh, I was researching online for the fastest internet and I found a story that was comparing the three big providers in Canada here it was uh, Telus, Bell and Rogers and guess what Rogers was at the bottom even though the story said they were kind of like close but the best one was Telus which is big in the west in Canada but not so much here but and I never had a Telus phone but I had Bell so I know Bell is good oh is it the same? I thought this was a park like all the way like that uh, Tommy Thompson Park in Toronto I went to basically you park your car at the gate and then you walk inside the park you see over here this one is so huge that they have a road and you can go inside you can go inside you know right in your car and then just move from one, one spot to another so kind of like see, that's what everybody's doing. All right. So this is uh, so yeah. And I got uh, Bell. I got Bell, and I did the research on specs. It was the fastest one. Uh, it's, I think it's Novatel. Novatel Wireless Seven Thousand. And 
I tried using it yesterday, it worked very well, so I'm gonna use it today to upload this video. But once again, I'm shooting in 720p. Just will uh, reduce the size a little bit. So okay, let's go uh, down and uh, I'm really curious to see uh, this uh, uh, the southern, the most southern point of uh, of Canada, because you know this is interesting, right? There should be a path on the beach. Wow! How cool is this? Shots of uh, of seagulls over here. See, there's a bunch of them over there, sitting on the right on the beach. That's US already, because that's uh, southwest of me. That's Canada. Very clean, like water, it looks like a sea almost, you know? Okay, so this is the actual area I was looking for. See, 2.5 kilometers, so 1.5 miles. And no cars are allowed here, except they have a bus like a shuttle. Oh, this is cool. One other thing I forgot to do, besides taking the bug repellent and pairing my new phone with the GoPro, I only had a coffee and I bought a small bottle of water. Because I was in a rush to get here didn't get any food so that's why the lady at the gate said start from the visitor center because this is you know nice I'm getting closer to the tip and I can hear the sound of the waves and the air becomes uh, kind of like really smells of uh, like ocean you know very fresh Uh, 
Why is it was sitting like this? That was a ruin. I thought she had chickens or something. Canada. Billy Point. kilometer. find that bus. Thanks for sticking along. <laughs> 